so far in our discussions we were talking about silicon crystal and we were talking about pure silicon crystal that is the crystal which is free of lattice defects or any kind of impurities okay so we were talking about pure silicon crystal each silicon atom is in covalent bond with four other silicon atoms so there are no we assume that so far in our discussion we assume that the silicon crystal is pure and and it has no lattice defects lattice defects can be like point defect line defect then volume defect etc we won't be discussing it in detail and impurities are atoms of other elements so atoms of other elements occupying the place of silicon so we can say that this silicon any semiconductor material which is pure that means free of lattice defects or any other impurities we can call it as intrinsic semiconductor so here we have considered silicon as an example now we will discuss about generation and recombination rate we have already seen generation now we will talk about recombination as well as generation and recombination rate we have discussed that as temperature increases in a semiconductor so as temperature increases we said that electron hole pairs are generated we can say ehps electron hole pairs are generated right that means some electrons in the valence band gain sufficient energy and moves to conduction band thereby creating a hole in valence band and electron in conduction band now there is another phenomenon that is occurring apart from electron hole pair generation there is something called recombination it is simply the opposite process of generation that means electron in conduction band may fall into a hole in valence band thereby eliminating that electron hole pair that means an electron in conduction band may lose energy due to some reasons and fall into a hole and removes the electron hole pair so we have two phenomena here that is generation as well as recombination generation is the process of creation of electron hole pair recombination is the process of removal of an electron hole pair we know that for generation the electron should gain energy so in recombination the electron will lose energy there will be a loss of energy of electrons now at a particular temperature let's say at a fixed temperature if we analyze the material we can see that the number of ehps tends to stay at a particular value which means that there should be some balance between generation rate and recombination rate at a particular temperature if you look at a particular temperature we can see that there is a certain concentration of electron hole pairs that means there should be some balance between generation rate and recombination rate we will discuss it up discuss about it only if there is a balance between these two we can say that at a fixed temperature that certain concentration of electron hole pair is maintained let's see about that so let's take a look at the important notations will be used in semiconductor theory when dealing with it mathematically we are considering intrinsic material now we take ni the electron concentration in the conduction band that is our conduction band electron concentration n represents the negative charge we know that electron have negative charge so n is used to notate that this is a negative charge carriers and i represents that the material is intrinsic that means it's a pure semiconductor we are talking about electron concentration in an intrinsic semiconductor and when we say electron it means electron concentration in the conduction band alone that is it represent the negative charge carrier concentration and the unit we will be using is electrons per centimeter cube so we are looking at the electronic concentration or number of electrons per centimeter cube of semiconductor material two important points we won't be repeatedly mentioning it electron concentration in conduction band and i represent intrinsic when i say ni what should come to your mind is that it talks about negative charge carriers in an intrinsic material negative charge carriers in an intrinsic material similarly number of holes or hole concentration sorry hole concentration can be denoted using pi where p is the small letter and i is also small pi we can use pi to denote hole concentration in valence band and that too in intrinsic material i represent that we are talking about pure semiconductor that is intrinsic 
P represents the positive charge of hole. Now in the case of intrinsic material, we have seen that an electron hole pair is generated. That means whenever an electron is generated, electron is moved to conduction band, a hole is created in the valence band. So they are created in pair. So in an intrinsic material, remember in intrinsic material only, we can say that the electron concentration Ni is equal to the hole concentration Pi. So this is an important relationship. And the reason is that they are created in pair in intrinsic material. So Ni equal to Pi. And one more important point is that Ni and Pi are temperature dependent. Ni and Pi are dependent on temperature. That is because we have already mentioned that as temperature increases, electrons will gain sufficient energy and move to conduction band thereby creating electron hole pair. So more temperature means more energy for electrons and hence there is an increase in intrinsic electron concentration. So always remember that we won't be writing as Ni of T and Pa of T all the time. So we always talk about intrinsic concentration at a particular temperature. We have said that recombination rate is the rate at which electron hole pairs are removed from the material and generation rate is the rate at which the electron hole pairs are generated. So generation rate that is the rate at which electron hole pairs are generated we use the symbol GI and it is measured in number of electron hole pairs generated per centimeter cube in one second. So generation rate is measured as the number of electron hole pairs generated per centimeter cube of material in one second. Similarly we can represent recombination rate that is Ri that is the rate at which recombination happens. It is also measured in number of electron hall pairs that is recombined per centimeter cube of the material in one second. And we must always note that these Ri and Gi are temperature dependent. That means we can talk about it at a particular temperature and that Gi comma Ri varies with temperature. Let's say at particular temperature at thermal equilibrium we can say that generation rate should be equal to recombination rate. That's because in order to maintain steady electron hole pair concentration, we need to have generation rate and recombination being equal. So if generation rate was greater, suppose if generation rate was greater than recombination rate, we can see an increase in intrinsic concentration at a particular temperature. But we can say see that the electron, uh, electron concentration or charge carrier concentration remains constant at a particular temperature but varies with temperature keeping all the other parameters same. So at any temperature let's say at a particular temperature T we can say that the recombination rate is proportional to number of electrons and holes present at that time. So Ri, K, Ri we can say is proportional to Ni into Pa. We have earlier mentioned that in intrinsic material Ni equal to Pi. Therefore, we can say that Ri equal to some constant say alpha R into Ni into Pi. Since Ni equal to Pi, we can say Ni square. So the rate of recombination Ri is equal to alpha R into Ni square where alpha R is the constant of proportionality. And we have earlier mentioned that this should be equal to GI to maintain a certain concentration of electron, electrons or electron hole pair at a given temperature. 